Okay, so I'm going to talk about the thermoplastic elastomer. There are two categories, and then one thing is, first one is I will start with the thermoplastic urethane. So thermo means applying heat, right? Plastic means deformable. Elastomer is a elast elastomer. So what that means is, if you think about the rubber band, which is a uh, elastomer, uh, you cannot reshape it. Once you make the elastomer uh, having the fixed shape, you are pretty much uh, the chains can shape cannot be reformed by reheating it up. But some cases, uh, you can apply the heat, and then you can redeform the elastomer to a different shape. And then, then you can make it into more rubber-like material. So in that's what people can say. But essentially, what I can say is injection, molding, possible, elastomer. Okay, it would be nice if you can just heat it up, make things the whole thing is a kind of the. Uh, rubbery like and then you can do the injection molding make you know, 100 parts at once and uh, This is a uh, what is possible and there are two classes one is a thermoplastic uh, polyurethane and the other one is a uh, styrene based uh, uh, triblock polymer system and this is uh, what I find out uh, from the uh, TPU it is a uh, pretty much well well known thermoplastic polyurethane and urethane chemically speaking is nothing but if you if you, uh, is a reaction with isocyanate with an OH they form urethane bonding okay the urethane is um, NaCO so that's a, it almost like a ester with an amide combined. Okay, so that's a, that's a urethane bonding. And the unique feature of the urethane, similar to the amide, also the polyester, it, has, it can form this hydrogen bonding. Okay, hydrogen bonding is possible. For making polyurethane, uh, this is uh, essentially a basic unit, which is a uh, typically aromatic diisocyanate, and then you are using these uh, two different types of diol. One is very short diol, typically butan diol, and the other one is very long diol, which is called a uh, polyether diol, polyester diol, or different kinds of polymeric diol whose molecular weight is let's say in the ranges of few thousands and what's going to happen is uh, you are going to have essentially what they call the hard segment okay and there's a soft segment uh, so what I can draw here this one in when they react this one they form hard segment you can see that it is a very tight uh, repeating unit of the, um, the urethane because of the, the short diol nature. And then this is a hard phases where there's a lot of hydrogen bonding. And then they form essentially a crystalline phase. And then, uh, and then they, they also put this soft face <laughs> this is more flexible so this is a more what is called a soft segment and they are the one forming from time to time they, they put in forming this and they are forming this uh, soft phases so this is uh, the essentially uh, tunable structure this is a hard phases and this is a soft faces. And the hard faces work as a sort of the uh, unit of um, cross-linking. But here, this cross-linking is a physical cross-linking. Because when you heat it up, 
you can make this uh, ring cross-linking uh, softer, right? So this uh, this is a that's a really the uh, unique nature of the thermoplastic elastomer. Physical cross-linking forming the hard domain, and that's a pretty much uni universal for the thermoplastic elastomer. And here the polyurethane they're achieving this by uh, diisocyanate with a uh, very short diol. When you have a diisocyanate with a, a long flexible diol, and they'll form this uh, very amorphous rubbery soft faces. Okay, but this uh, this one make it is uh, th things are more cross linked in nature, and the soft. This also means uh, rubbery means typically we are talking about at room temperature, uh, the the rubbery. Right. So, so therefore, typically the polymer with low TG polymers and the polyester or polyether. So, this is a CH two, CH two, CH two, CH two O. Right. There's a poly THF. If you remember the 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 chemical structure of THF. There. So THF looks like this, right? And then they can do the ring opening polymerization, make this one for this, and this is a very low TG polymer. So that's an example of that, and there are a, a lot of different other segments as well. So let us let me go to the recap, because uh, polythermoplastic polyurethane is used quite diversely a lot of uh, uh, applications. Essentially, the whole idea is you want to make uh, diisocyanate with a short chain diol. Okay? And so that's, uh, they, sometimes they call the chain extender but this that forms are essentially comprise this this domain, okay? This hard domain, and then there is a one that with a, the diisocyanate with a long chain diol, and they are the one forming this the flexible domain, soft faces that shown up here. By changing the ratio, structure, and molecular weight, and depending on which one do you react first and the control the random uh, randomness on this, you can have a uh, fine tuned uh, their essentially um, properties. Okay, so it's always uh, trying to represent this one by soft domain is connected, and this one is essentially connected to three dimensional way. Right, so there are there are many chains. Point forming this essentially networks with the other other structures, so that's why it, it shows uh, those kind of the three dimensional network. Some aggregates are some aggregates are big, large. Some aggregates are small. It's more like a random network structures, and this region that formed by the hard phases, they can be softened upon heating. That's why it is called a. Uh, uh, thermoplastic uh, urethane and here is and here's the same kind of representation that okay so when you this is a urethane bond right but when you have a long chain molecule they use a poly THF here and they form this uh, soft segments soft segment I've been using this blue so let me use a blue so this is a soft segment so these are the soft segment chain and within the hard segments, they always have a very tight uh, hydrogen bonding, right? So hydrogen bonding is responsible for forming very tight, uh, where deformable chains. And this is an example of, I look for the application of the TPU, and you, you will see that this is a ski boots, particularly this one. This is an injection molded, and this is also uh, injection molded TPU uh, is, can be used. Has been used, so it ha it can be used in the various uh, applications. And I was able to find out, uh, you know, some some places in the internet. And uh, this is uh, one of the region. So remember that this is a polyurethane. Essentially, has this, this two two phases. One is soft segment, and then the hard segment. Okay. The hard segment and the soft segment, they form sort of the network structures to control this.
mechanical properties and their physical property and also overall I guess uh, uh, the, the the composition of soft and hard segments and the way that how you distributed those uh, will affect this morphology. So there's a lot of technical know-how in formulating the right thermoplastic urethane elastomer.